I knew I had to hide my behavior. So I tried to be very macho, as you know. The second or third date I took you on, I rode in a rodeo. But do you remember when I first told you that I wore women's clothes? It was after we were engaged, and I thought, well, that's not a big deal. But one of the hardest things was that people made fun of this person that I loved. So I wanted to protect you. Remember when I was beat up in front of our house, the Mm -hmm. guy kicked uh, my teeth in. To have your kid have to witness that was pretty terrible. Yeah. Remember the neighbors we had? He came out with a knife one day and threatened to castrate me. I call those people fashion critics, but the younger generation, they don't care what I wear. I remember the time that all your students dressed up for you. They all had pink shirts on and either pink or purple hair ribbons. The whole class. That told me a lot. Did you ever think to leave me because I was different? You and I talked about it, but I loved you, and I wanted you in my life, and I wanted you in our children's life. I know early on you were embarrassed to be with me, and I felt so bad for you because now I'm not the man you married. Well, we've been married for over 46 years, and... I love the person that I have become because of you. You didn't know you was marrying a fashion horse, did you? I didn't know that I was marrying somebody who was going to take up two-thirds of the closet. (laughs) I could easily live like my dad, become an alcoholic. And I had tried suicide before I met you. But it's because you, I went to school and got my bachelor's degree It was you making me look in the mirror and saying, you're a good person. Where do you think we'll be in 20 years? Oh, probably walking along with our little canes, holding hands, you in your pretty dress and me in my jeans, being happy. One thing you've taught me, honey, is you taught me how to laugh because I didn't know how to laugh. I've learned since that you have to love yourself before you can love others. And the greatest gift you've given me is a gift of how to love.